If you want your business to be more profitable, I'm going to share three things that really change the profitability inside of my business that can help you as well. These are things that I tell my students and my members and my followers all of the time because these are so essential just to growing a good, strong business to save you time and effort to allow you to create more luxury time in your business and make you more money while you're not as hands-on inside of your business. Now, the first thing that I always tell people is discipline inside of your business. That means you have to create a structure for yourself. Just because you're running your own business doesn't mean you have time to go do all these extra things or do things on whims. You have to have discipline inside of your business. If you're not treating it like a business, nobody else is going to. So that sometimes means you have to say no to going out with your friends for ice cream or going to the movie or doing fun things that you want to do in favor of doing your work. I always recommend creating a schedule, creating some parameters inside of your business. And that doesn't mean you have to say, well, between the hours of nine and five, I am working and you can't talk to me and all these things. You can have flexibility. And I teach you how to create luxury time so that you've got gaps of time, tons of free time to go do these fun things. But you have to have a structure and then you have to protect that time. So your day to day might look a little bit different. You may have one thing that you're doing on one day. You may have a ton of projects on another day. You may have different structures. My day looks different every day of the week, but I have that discipline to actually get things done and to create that schedule for myself to make sure that I am accountable to that and getting this work done. So creating a schedule, making sure that you have that discipline, whether it is like a daily schedule or an hourly schedule, a monthly schedule, you are getting the majority of your business scheduled in some way where you have parameters that you can follow because you're your own boss. You have to make these things happen. As long as you're following your own rules and you have that flexibility within it to schedule the way you need to, understanding that day to day can look a little bit different. It doesn't have to be the exact same every day. You're going to be able to get those things done. If however you do things when you're listening to the muses or on whims or when you feel like it, when the ideas are coming or when you have time, you're not going to get very far in your industry. It's going to take you a lot longer to grow. So the effort you put in is going to match the effort that you're going to get back from this. And the more that you discipline yourself in this, have some kind of structure. And that, again, I keep saying this, but it can look different from person to person. Your structure doesn't have to be my structure. My structure doesn't have to be your structure. You don't have to do things in the same way. My business, incredibly structured. But my day is also incredibly flexible. As long as I'm getting the things done that I need to get done, we're good to go. And I have luxury time to take my puppy to the vet this morning. Didn't see that one coming. I have time to stop and do extra things because I can, because I have that structure inside of my business. I have that discipline to get things done. And when you discipline yourself, you can then work on getting faster, stronger, better at those things. So I, as a multi-time best-selling fiction author, used to take a lot longer to write my novels, but because I created a structure and I have discipline in what I'm doing, I was able to learn how to do it faster, stronger, better. Now, instead of taking months to write a novel, I can write a full-length novel in nine and a half days and have it to my professional editor on day 10, literally from start to finish the idea all the way to turning it in. I can have a book published not on the market in two weeks. I had to learn. So when I created my discipline and my schedule, I was then able to refine what I was doing so that I could level up my skills and get better at it to save time and effort. We're creating luxury time and you can do that inside of your business too. I've done that for everything that I've created inside of all of my businesses, not just my author life. And that actually leads me to my next point, systemization and automation. Understanding how you can take tasks inside of your business and refine them to make them easier for you will save you time and effort. I automate my business. I systematize my business. I don't have to answer the same question 8 million times. I've created structures that will allow me to send information or to have my bots answer questions to do things for me. I have my automations that send out my newsletters. I have my automations that send out welcome packages and PDFs with information. I have messenger bots that guide people through a process to get to the results that they need without me having to be hands-on. I actually professionally go into other people's brands and businesses and corporations and I look around at what they're doing and I come up with ways that they can systematize and automate what they're doing. I was actually thinking about my vet this morning. I had to take my puppy to the vet. And so they have a lot of things inside of their business that just waste so much time. They could be refining things and changing things and sending things out automatically and creating cheat sheets and guides and PDFs and information that would not only benefit their people, their clients, by giving them information that they are not actually giving their audience, their clients, but I can 
structure that or they could structure that so that it, it happens without them having to lift a finger. They can make so much more money, have so much more time, hire so much more help if they restructure some of these things. And a lot of businesses can do that as well. So you have to think, what can I automate? I tell a story here on the channel where a few years back, I actually calculated how much time it took for me every week to stand up, turn off my overhead lights, turn on my ring lights, sit back down to record or do my live streams or whatever. And it was a full hour of my time every single week, just standing up to turn on and off lights. And so I automated that. I rigged everything up, all of my lights to a single button. And now all I have to do is click the button and everything's ready to go. I got myself back a full hour every week just from light switches. And you can refine your business as well. Automating things, systematizing things, creating things that you can give out information so that you don't have to do the hands-on work saves time and effort, which means you then have either more free time to do fun things or more free time to make more money. It's really easy to automate and to systematize what you're doing to make sure that you're building your profitability. And that has been a game changer for me because my businesses run themselves. I can be sleeping and making money. I can go on vacation and make money. I can deal with emergency situations and still not waste money. I can make money while I'm doing all these things because I've systemized things, because I've automated things. And that is something I love to do for businesses. So if you need your help with that, I'm here. You can go check out kmrobinson.com. I do lots of mentorships and coaching and all those things. But you also have the ability to sit there and refine what you're doing in your business to save that time and effort so you can make more money through this. Now, the other thing that I have done inside of my business that has been a total game changer for my profitability is being relational with my content. So many people think we have to have these highly curated things. It has to look like a magazine. It has to be so fancy. It has to be the god high on the mountain where the peasants can't touch them. That's just not true. The more relational that you are with your audience, the more you're going to build up the trust factor, the more you're going to build community and conversation. I get on live streams. I show my life to people. I show the behind the scenes of things. I have conversations. When you message me in the comments of my videos, I respond to every single one that I see. I don't always get the notification. If I don't get the notification, I can't respond to you. If you don't, I haven't responded to you, it's because I haven't seen it. Please tag me again. But I respond to every single thing that I see as quickly as possible. Whenever I have the opportunity to respond, I do. I get on live streams every single week on TikTok, on YouTube to answer questions in real time. I make the effort to be there and to be present and to be relational. I give the calls to action to say, please leave the comments. Please email me. I'm here to support you. Please come to the live streams and ask the questions in real time. I'm here for you. And so I have those conversations and I show the behind the scenes and I talk to you about things like my puppy sleeping next to me. I talk to you about going to the vet. I talk to you about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and that I'm going on trips and all of the things. Relational content can make or break what you're doing. So when it comes to being more profitable inside of your business, you want to make sure that you are being relational, that you are automating things and systematizing things, that you are actually looking at what you're doing and how you're doing it so that you can create more discipline inside of your schedule so that you have more productivity in what you're doing, but less time spent doing it. There's no reason for you to not be able to go do fun things with your friends and family and have luxury time in your business. You just have to focus on how you're restructuring things and tweaking what you're already doing to make it more relevant and to make it work for you instead of making you work for it. Questions on this, go ahead and drop it down below. Coaching, kmrobinson.com. You definitely don't want to miss out on this one. It's been revolutionary for a lot of businesses. And we will see you in the upcoming episodes. We help you navigate your social media marketing, building your business and creating luxury time in your business so that your business is working for you and is profitable for you. The most profitable that you've ever been while you are less hands-on and less stress involved with everything that you're creating. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.